as in the last example we have talked about method overriding now in that we have used uh, a, a method with, without any parameter right but what if uh, if I define a parameter so we say int a so you can see this method show don't have any parameter and this method show has, has one parameter and we are calling obj dot show without any parameter so which method it should call first of all when you say obj dot show it will jump to this b class it will check for a method called a show with a parameter which is which uh, without any parameter right so since we are not passing any parameter so it will see the signature of this method is not the signature we have called so it will go to the class a and it will call this show so if we run this, we'll say run as, so it is a hello world from A, right? It's because it's calling this, this method is because the method in B has a parameter. What if I pass a parameter here? If I pass, let's say five, this time it will call this method. And let's say run as Java application. So we have hello world from B. In fact, uh, now if I say it is int a, so both these methods are same. So this method overrides this method now. So to make it to, to work with overriding, we need to we need to have same name and same number of parameters. In fact, same type of parameters. So that means we should have the same signature, and the relationship between the two classes should be of inheritance. Simple. So this is how you have to achieve method over writing now since we got the idea of method overriding uh, and method overloading the next topic will discuss about constructor overloading because since constructor is also a, a method right so we can also overload constructors how to do that that we'll see in the next part